Hey guys, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy mint Oreo bark for St. Patrick's Day. Today's recipe is super simple. I actually got it off the Candy Quick website. It is a three ingredient recipe for mint Oreo bark. And oh my goodness, it smells so amazing. If you guys love mint, if you love everything St. Patrick's Day, this recipe is amazing. You can make it for like your kids' St. Patrick's Day party at school. You can just make it at home. Whatever occasion for St. Patrick's Day, it's gonna be awesome. The issue, of course, is having to make this Oreo bark and not eat any of the Oreos while you make it. I was so tempted, let me tell you, because I just love mint right now. I have no idea why. Mint is just like my thing. So let me show you how it's made. So this mint Oreo bark only has three ingredients. You start with a 16 ounce box of this vanilla candy coating. And the website where I got the recipe said to use three fourths of a cup of crushed mint Oreos. No, we're gonna use like two cups, maybe more. I don't know, we'll have to see. And then the last ingredient, is green sprinkles. So let us get started. First thing I'm gonna do is open up the box of candy coating. We're gonna put it all in this little pot right here and then just heat it up until it's all melted. Let's see if I can break this apart. Ow. Okay, that was a little harder than I thought. This chocolate is very hard. All right, well, let's just turn it on lowish heat and we'll let that melt for a few minutes. All right, next let's open up this package of mint Oreos. I'll start by crushing up at least one cup so far. Oh my gosh, these smell amazing. I was not a huge fan of Oreos at first but now like cookies, all the cookies. And right now I'm on a mint kick too. I don't know what it is. I like the peppermint hot chocolates, the like the York peppermint patties. Oh my gosh. I need to be careful because I might just eat the rest of these cookies. Somebody help my self control. Now see like that was about a cup. Maybe I'll do one more cookie but three fourths of a cup, like just this for the entire recipe, you're definitely gonna need a lot more than that. And while the chocolate is melting, let's grab a cookie sheet and line it with wax paper to pour it all when it's done. I keep calling it chocolate. Technically it's vanilla, it's not chocolate. It is starting to melt now, which is good. I've just got it on like lowish medium heat now. So I estimate maybe like five minutes or so and it should be done. Once it starts looking like this, just kind of poke around a little bit to make sure there's no big pieces. There's still a little bit left in here. So just keep checking until it's all done. All right, this is completely melted. Let me pour in the one cup of crushed Oreos. Let's mix that together real quick. And then we will pour this. Let me turn off the stove first. After I mix this together, I will pour it on the pan. All right, here we go. Let's pour it all on. I know it looks weird, but it smells amazing right now. So once you've got as much candy as possible out of the pan, just kind of spread it around this cookie sheet. Make it nice and flat. And I can tell already, yeah, three fourths of a cup of Oreos was definitely not enough. So that looks pretty flattened. Let's crush up some more Oreos. All right, so here is another cup of Oreos. So I'm just gonna maybe Might break them apart a little bit more into smaller pieces. Just kind of pour them on where I don't really see any Oreos. Get them all nice and covered. So I am making this for a women's group. I sit with a group of ladies. There's usually seven of us at the table. 
So I am trying to make enough to feed all seven of us. Hopefully, this will feed all seven. It's not looking too good. All right, now that the Oreos are all on there, let's take some sprinkles. Holiday edition, but no one's gonna notice. We're just gonna sprinkle it right on top. Whoops. There it is. So now we're just gonna let this sit for maybe an hour or so. We're gonna let it get nice and hard and then we're going to break it into pieces. It is all hardened and finished, so now I get to break it all apart into smallish pieces. So you just grab it, break it into small pieces like that. They don't have to be even, it doesn't have to look pretty, it just needs to be kind of small just like that and I'm hoping this will make enough for seven bags. It looks amazing, by the way, and I really want to dig into it, like, right now. I know that John and Allison are kind of jealous because I'm taking all of this to my women's group, but, like I said, there are seven of us, which means I'm making a bag for myself so I told them that I would bring home the bag and that we could share it. But I love how green this is. It is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. And you could easily do a double batch. I mean, you could do two cookie sheets and then just do half and half. That way you could have a whole lot more. You could make this for like a St. Patrick's Day party for your kid's school or just a party in general. This would even be good for Easter. Maybe not the mint part, but I've made something similar before with like the Easter M&Ms. So I had the pretty springtime colors and I think I even used green sprinkles for that one too. And then regular Oreos, I think. All right, well, there's all of that. Now we get to put it inside the bags. So please ignore the fact that these say happy birthday. I tend to keep a, a huge stack of random bags just for occasions like these. And I did not have any St. Patrick's Day bags. It was either like rainbow, which is sort of St. Patrick's Day themed, or I had a lot of Valentine's Day and Christmas. I wasn't sure how well that would go over. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to put a whole lot in each bag, which is very sad. And I don't really want to go out and buy more, because the ingredients are a little expensive. So maybe what I'll do is just fill these seven bags and then maybe put some extra Oreos in there. That would work. So as you can see, like these are huge bags, but there's not a lot of stuff in it. So I think what I'll do is add more Oreos. So, I mean, see, I've got a ton in here. Maybe I can do like three per bag. It should work. Okay, well, I only had enough to put uh, three Oreos in six bags. So I'm just going to keep number seven for myself and let the other ones have the Oreos. Well, but there you have it. This is a very simple mint Oreo bark that you can make for your St. Patrick's Day event. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has inspired you to make your own mint Oreo bark or anything related to that. You could do something for Easter. You can use this for Halloween, Christmas, whatever the occasion. Just switch out the sprinkles, switch out the Oreos. It'll work for any holiday. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be notified on whenever I post more recipes like this, more grocery hauls, or meal planning tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.